Yeah, no, I gotta, no, I gotta ask right now. It's, it's, it's for the end. Talk about the run game for Appalachian State and compare it to what you're doing and how far along the offensive line is right now. Still early on, there's still growing pains as uh, any new system gets implemented. You know, three, four games into it, you start to see it come along a little bit better. Uh, it's the same way, you know, when we implemented up there as it is here. It's uh, it's a work in progress, but each day it gets better and better, and there's little things that you can put in each day that, that to try to change things based on fronts. And we're getting to the point where we can start doing a lot more. You know, if you noticed uh, a couple weeks back in the Georgia game, you know, we basically didn't do anything. We lined up, we ran the same thing over and over and over again, but it was working. There's not a whole lot of uh, uh, need to do more when something like that is working. But we've got a lot of new stuff we can do with this. Talk about, I guess, the uh, the injuries, Rock and, and TC right now, and how where they're at. You know, Rocky, has got a stinger. That's a day in and day out issue. It's uh, really unfortunate because he had a, such a good first to second game. Uh, uh, just unfortunate. Uh, TC Campbell still got a high ankle sprain. Still tweaks it in practice. He's got to go. He's pushing through it. Uh, we got to get those guys healthy. You know, right now, you know, we, you're kind of switching guys in and out with Hutch Eckerson uh, getting hurt. So we got to get a lineup that we can put in there and, and play together and become really consistent. And that's when you're going to start seeing a lot of good things happen. You Sean, preparing like like Rock's going to play this week? Are you anticipating him being in the starting lineup, or is that a Friday night decision? I have no idea. It'll probably be a Saturday decision when we don't warm up. So. What about for Hutch? Was he out in uniform? He was out in uniform, participated today, uh, went with a lot of second team reps, pass pro, uh, no limitations on him, still bummed ankle, but uh, expecting to play and, and fight hard. Is that a good development this week? It sounded like Steve said Sunday he was doubtful. He's his work for him. Yeah, you know, uh, he's come a long way in three days. He's he's worked all, you know, really hard in the training room. He, he's done everything we've asked of him. He came out here and put forth a good effort today. Is he ready to go out there and probably go up against, uh, you know, those defensive linemen from Auburn today? No, he's not. But hopefully Saturday at 745 he will be. How overall, how banged up would you say these guys are right now? For being they're, they're pretty banged up. They're pretty banged up. I mean, it, it's a struggle to go out there and uh, – and have a good solid practice right now because there's not a lot of people we can work against. You've got limitations on Rock, you got limitations on Hutch, you got limitations on Terrence Campbell. Uh, it, it, it's it's difficult. It's difficult. Coach, how's TJ doing with the snaps and practice? I think TJ's really? doing a good job. He's doing a good. He's he taking a guy that moved from left guard to center. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the the other uh, concerns that with other teams across the country with some snaps, but we have got to get a lot better at that. Uh, that, that's some of the biggest problems in our run game is the low left snaps and low right snaps. It's all a timing issue. If we're not getting the snaps and the handoffs in the right amount of time, it, it, it's a crutch for our offense in our running game. Even though you guys are banged up, I mean, is it still possible to get a good effort out on Saturday? We're going to get a good effort out of them. I mean, they don't have an option. Whatever we put out there Saturday night, they're going to give a great effort, and they're going to go out there and fight. Yeah, I can tell you that. I don't know who it will be. But they will go out there for, uh, Saturday night at 745 and give it their all. And if we have to drag them off the field and into that ball game, that's what we'll do. But they'll be out there fighting. Thoughts on A.J. Can's performance, second half against Furman? A.J. Can's a freshman playing freshman football against uh, SoCon team out there. Still a lot of uh, things he can do a lot better. Playing slow tempo because he just doesn't know what to do. That's a freshman. That's a freshman. It's not like he's... He's catching the football or running the football. You know, he has got a lot of things moving up in front of him. Nothing sits still, sits still in front of the offensive line. There's moving parts, and that's that's tough. Same for Cody. Sure, sure. I know during the during the preseason you moved uh, AJ around tackle. Is he working pretty much primarily at guard yes, right now? Yes, he's solely at guard. Right? Right guard to left guard, was that kind of a difficult Totally. I, I think so. And, and that's coming from a guy that's never put his hand on the ground and played right guard or left guard. But I know uh, I can't go, you know, right left handed. I can't throw a baseball left handed. I can't, I can't imagine that position being easy going from right guard to left guard when you play right guard or right tackle all your life. It's not something they need to do. It's not something I want to do. It's something we have to do out of necessity.